guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl being tammy and if you have been following my last couple of videos you know that i have a baby and today i'll be showing you my bedside nursery tour very simple very practical very minimalistic so stay tuned and join me with this tour so come on with me we have probably behind the scenes so i'll be taking you around the bedroom to show you everything for baby girl so so we're gonna start on this side which is the left side this is hubby side we have placed the bassinet this bassinet was gifted to us on our registry um it's called the dream on me carly it's very very practical very functional i love it i think hubby loves it too right hubby yeah man. all right so before we get into the bassinet, we're just going to go over to this table right here where we have a humidifier. Very important to, you know, cool down the air, moisten the air because where we live is winter now. So we the air is a little bit dry. So I have the humidifier there. I have my sewing machine that was gifted that was gifted to me by my co-worker. And it also projects in the ceiling. I don't know if you can see it. It's in the day. But it projects in the ceiling and it's really nice in the nights it provides extra lighting for this corner i also keep over this corner the books that i have for baby so that i can read our stories from time to time so let's dive into the little bassinet over there so her bassinet as you see we keep it on hubby's side it's more practical that way he gets to be a part of the bonding experience in the night so it's on hubby's side in the bassinet now i keep her dream love to dream swaddle i use this one because baby girl likes to sleep with her hands like this so i use this one i also keep this thing right here the thing that you use to suck the snot out i don't know what it's called but oh bulb syringe i keep this here in the nights because Baby girl tends to spit up and I don't like the sound, so I, you know, I squirt it out. Also, I have this just for decoration purposes in the day. It was gifted by my co-worker too with her name on it, so it's pretty cute. And I keep a blanket in her basket as well, just for extra warmth. And because we're in here in the night, we don't have to worry about the blanket covering her face or anything, so that's it. Most of these things we got from our registry, but I'll try to link everything in the description below. So let's go over to the bed. Oh, on the bed here, another gift from our registry is the knockoff or the dupe for the Dakotot, if I'm pronouncing it right. So we tend to keep baby in here as well initially when he, she was here she was very very a very small baby she was only weighing five pounds and something i don't remember the exact figure right now so six was, pounds and three ounces oh she was six pounds and three ounces. ounces initially but she was very tiny so we're keeping her in here when she just got home from the hospital so that's that moving around to my side of the bed so my side of the bed is pretty simple. I have breast pads, you know, for when the milk lets down and, you know, it tends to mess us up. So I have breast pad. I have water, which is very essential when you're breastfeeding in the night. You need to hydrate, stay hydrated. And another essential, guys, let's zoom in. How are you picking this up? This is heaven, okay? For all those persons who have cracked nipples, because... Whether your baby latches on fast or not, you're still going to have issues with your nipples being sore. So that has been very good to me. What is missing from here though, guys, is my big bunch of Oreo. Hubby gets me Oreo every time I'm out. I eat Oreo and drink water every single night. I know it's not lactation cookies, so don't come for me in the comments department. But I eat Oreo and I have water whenever I get up to nurse baby girl. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Here, I just like to shine some light. If you can see this, I just made a collage of Baby Girl, all of our ultrasounds. I just clip them in first ultrasound, her heartbeat, and all of that. So that's what I have here. 
Also in this little corner, I had a C-section, so stay tuned for my birth story. So I have my little, I had my little pill section here with Tylenol, ibuprofen, stool softener, and my prenatals. Guys, don't forget your prenatals. You still need it after giving birth. And then we'll go over to the most important section. We can open a few blinds so they can see what's in the little cubby. So this was also a part of our registry. It is my little caddy that I walk around with. I can bring it downstairs, but I also have an, a similar one downstairs. You have all your essentials that you need in the night so you don't have to get up. So you have your wipes. I'm currently using the water wipes. Your diapers. Most importantly, your diaper rash cream. Then I have some of the basic stuff that you need for baby girl. I have extra birth, burp cloths. I have extra change of clothes so that, you know, if baby messes up, I can just reach in here and grab things for her. And I have an extra swaddle cloth. These guys are amazing. I got them from Amazon again. I'll link them in the description below. They are muslin swaddles and they are amazing. They are so soft even after washing them multiple times because I've been washing multiple times. They are so soft and they are so convenient. In this little penny section now you have all of the essential medicine stuff. Wayne hates this thing <laughs> because he doesn't believe in sucking snot but you know as a mother you have to do all of those things. <laughs> So I'm just going to go through them. So I'm just going to take them out so you guys can see what we have here. Alright, so as I said, we have the nose. Frida, Bugo Smart Sucker thingy. And it came like that. It also came with a, a nasal spray, normal saline nasal spray. So I normally squirt a few pumps in baby's nose and then use the sucker to suck out whatever is there when andrew hates it so he only all his job is to you know get the saline in that's what his job is i actually got two of these because it's very important because breast milk tends tends to breast milk tends to thicken the secretion so you need it I actually just keep a extra wipes in here because sometimes it'll be past two Sometimes I had to switch lighting um, space, guys. The lighting wasn't good. So I also keep extra wipes in here for myself. We have baby Tylenol. That's going to be very important, surely, because two months they will be getting her shots. We have extra bulb syringe. This is not effective. Thermometer so you can check your baby's temperature. A pair of scissors. Uh, we have medicine dropper. And this also came with the nose frida. It's just inserts extra filters. So you just pop it out and insert it in your nose frida. So it's very important, guys. So yes, just pop one out. So this is the actual filter for your nose frida if you don't know. <laughs> Alright, then we have a little tweezer. How cute is this? We have a nail file, a nail clipper, and a little you know toothbrush mini toothbrush for baby girl so all those are essential also in the side i tend to keep a uh, nipple shield i also tend to keep extra pacifiers but all of them are being currently sterilized because i tend to sterilize every other day or so so we can keep all of the germs out also when I'm lazy, hubby does not use this, but when I'm lazy in the night and I don't want to go in the changing room, I use this to change baby girl on. So this is the extra changing pad that we keep in the room. So yes, it's also, will be linked below, it's called Comfy Cubs. So this is very effective for me. I keep this upstairs and downstairs when I'm changing baby girl. Alright, moving along. Sanitizer, you know it's very essential because you have to clean your hands before you nurse and after you clean baby girl also have another sewing machine here that has lights this is the one that provides light for me in the nights because you don't want to keep the light too high in the nights 
for baby girl because that will stimulate them so you have to keep the lights dim so i use this and we have the warp one <laughs> and here we have the wipe warmer here so there's currently wipes in there water wipes in there it's very nice guys it's very luxury water wipes i'm not gonna lie i don't use it every time but it's very nice to have zooming down to the bottom i also tend to keep my breast pump here in the morning about 7 8 ish i tend to pump afterwards then to my favorite spot Wayne's favorite spot is the trusty rocking chair. This chair was gifted by hubby <laughs> from my from my registry. It's guys, it's really nice. It's really nice. It rocks back. Um, the room is not big enough to to slant it like that because the vent is there. But guys, it's really nice. Um, I'll link it below too. It has a pocket here that, guys, I store a lot of stuff in here. I store books that I'm reading. For example, if I'm nursing baby girl and I'm bored in the days, I tend to read books so I can keep up to date with myself, you know, self-improvement. I also keep extra reading books for baby girl. We're currently reading When God Made You. I really like this book, so I'll link that also below. It was on my registry. I also keep extra... Um, Verb cloths, rags, and bibs here. So that if I need it in the night and I don't have to get up, you know, because sometimes I'm lazy. So I try to be very practical. So that's what I keep here. And my boppy, this, guys, if you're a first time mother, you definitely did need this. This is an essential. This was also gifted to me on my registry. And I love the print, it just matches my through very perfectly because in the night it gets cold so i just throw this on my legs warm up and get comfy and so yeah that's basically my let's try nursery tour it's very essential that you guys keep it very minimal because baby is going to be in our room for the next couple of months next six months who knows so i wanted something very practical something very simple so yeah that's it if you have anything to add if you're a mother if you see anything that you're currently using or anything that you think we should add to our little bedside nursery chores let me know comment down below and please stay tuned to my birthing story so yeah see you in the next video stay safe bye guys